Thank you for watching This Is Everyday Facts where I tell you stories and hopefully give you facts you didn't know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate you all. Now let's get right to it. In the early hours of a seemingly ordinary Tuesday, the 11th of September, 2001, the world stood still. The skyline of New York City, and the very fabric of America, was irrevocably altered. The largest terrorist attack on American soil unfolded, as four flights turned into destructive missiles. Today we delve into the chilling chronicle of American Airlines Flight 11, United Airlines Flight 175, American Airlines Flight 77, and United Airlines Flight 93. Our narrative begins at 5.45 a.m. Muhammad Atta and Abdulaziz Al-Omari, two of the intended hijackers, passed through security at the Portland International Jetport in Maine. They board a commuter flight to Boston Logan International Airport. They then board American Airlines Flight 11. 7.59 a.m. Flight 11 takes off from Boston headed for Los Angeles, California. There are 76 passengers, 11 crew members, and 5 hijackers on board. Minutes later all five hijackers breached the cockpit overpowering the flight crew. 8.24 a.m. Mohammed Atta, a hijacker on Flight 11, unintentionally alerts air controllers in Boston to the attack. He meant to press the button that allowed him to talk to the passengers on his flight. Simultaneously United Airlines Flight 175, another Boeing 767, also departed from Boston headed to Los Angeles. It too was breached by five hijackers. Both flights were taken off track and headed towards New York City. 8.46 a.m., Flight 11 crashes into the World Trade Center's North Tower and employees of the World Trade Center are trapped above the 91st floor. 8.15 a.m., United Airlines Flight 175 takes off from Boston, headed for Los Angeles. There are 51 passengers, 9 crew members, and 5 hijackers on board. At 9.03 a.m., Flight 175 crashes into the South Tower live on television. In a shocking twist of events, there were reports that American Airlines Flight 11 was still airborne. Air traffic controllers likely confused the flight with American Airlines Flight 77, which was somewhere over Washington, D.C. airspace. 8.20 a.m., American Airlines Flight 77 takes off from Dulles outside of Washington, D.C., headed for Los Angeles. There are 53 passengers, 6 crew members, and 5 hijackers on board. 5 hijackers commandeered the plane, changing its course towards the Pentagon. The flight carried 58 passengers, 6 crew members, and the hijackers. 9.37 a.m., Flight 77 crashes into the Pentagon. All passengers aboard are instantly killed, and so are 125 civilian and military personnel in the building. Lastly, 8.42 a.m., United Flight 93 takes off from Newark, New Jersey, after a delay due to routine traffic. It was headed for San Francisco, California. There are 33 passengers, 7 crew members, and 4 hijackers are on board. 9.57 a.m., the brave passengers and crew on board, aware of the attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon, attempted to regain control of the aircraft, but tragically, the flight crashed in a field in Pennsylvania, claiming the lives of all on board. The events of that fateful day claimed the lives of nearly 3,000 individuals, including the passengers and crew on the four flights, innocent civilians in the World Trade Center and the Pentagon, and heroic first responders. An estimated number of over 1,000 fire personnel were deployed in the rescue operations, a testament to the bravery and resilience of the human spirit. In the aftermath of the attacks, the world of security underwent a drastic transformation. Airport security was tightened, intelligence agencies became more interconnected, and nations across the globe re-evaluated their counter-terrorism strategies. Rising from the ashes of the fallen Twin Towers, the One World Trade Center stands tall today, a beacon of resilience and a symbol of America's unwavering spirit. It was a day that shocked the world, a day that has since shaped the course of history. Let me know in the comments if you have a story you would like me to tell. Hopefully I can get a fact or two you didn't know. Thank you for watching and take care.